Our top story, that national coin shortage. It's an unexpected side effect of COVID-19. Coin production has slowed as mints across the country take safety precautions. News Five Spencer Humphrey joins us live at Academy in Austin Bluffs to explain how businesses big and small are affected by this. Well, Rob and Elizabeth, cashiers at Kroger's stores, that includes here at King Supers, will no longer be giving coins back to customers as change. Instead, customers can either donate their change to charity or have it applied to their loyalty cards to go toward their next purchase. But there are some small businesses that rely on coins, and they're having a hard time. Laundromat started as a depression era innovation. You might call him a laundromat historian. The system has been around for about 90 years now, and it's, uh, it's pretty much coins still dominate the industry. Peter Cook bought Sunshine Coin Laundry on the Springs West Side seven years ago. I was trying to do some handyman stuff and then said, well, maybe I should just work where, you know, it's not, it's not the greatest of livings, but it is steady. Good afternoon, Sunshine Coin Laundry. He quickly realized why, in our modern times, the cash only business model is still needed. And a lot of times, you know, you've got people who can't afford to get these machines. And so, you know, being able to wash your clothes for the change in your pockets is a huge, you know, that, that's, that's a staple of the industry. But lately, we no longer are taking, you know, a bucket of coins in each week. Yeah. We're, you know, now the bucket is almost empty. The coin shortage brought on by COVID-19 is not something he could have seen coming. I noticed it a couple of weeks after the initial uh, you know, shutdown or slowdown when a lot of businesses were closed up. But it's here and it hurts. This year was supposed to be a year of expansion and adding you know, newer and larger machines. But once, that, uh, once the orders hit, we realized it's going to be a year where we're just going to try to make it through. And so what was going to be a, a nest egg has become more of a war chest. And after hearing stores like King Supers won't be handing out coins to customers. That, 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 that almost sounds like uh, some, are, some are trying to push a uh, cashless economy. He'll have to try to adapt to a cashless future. Even if you were just to try an electronic upgrade, it would be still tens of thousands of dollars to implement. Now back here at King Supers, the Kroger company says customers who use self-checkout will still have the option to receive coins as change for now. And of course, we'll continue to follow up with other businesses and let you know if any others plan on joining this trend. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Spencer Humphrey, News 5.